click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in this video we will study a use of break and continue statement. Now break statement and continue statement are basically used when we have to terminate the infinite loop. Now what is mean by infinite loop? Infinite loop is something when the condition is not given. So if the condition is not given, your loop, I mean your compiler will keep on rotating inside the loop for indefinite amount of time. So if you want to come out from such kind of loop, then we make a use of two statements and they are what break statement and continue statement now what is the difference between break statement and continue statement in the case of break statement you come immediately out of the loop whereas in case of continue statement your control gets transferred to the beginning of the loop so in short in the other way you can say in the break statement your control comes out of the loop whereas in the continue statement your control gets transferred to the beginning of the loop so we'll see some example of what break and continue statement now what they have to say about the break and continue statement that first we'll see a break statement cause rest of the statement in the loops block jumping immediately to the next statement outside the loop so that was i was saying the break statement causes control to come directly out of the loop whereas continue statement transfer the execution to the next iteration of the loop or you can say i mean after the continue statement whatever you have written that will get still skip and you know your control will get uh, rotate towards only the beginning of the loop so we'll see this with the help of some example now this is the example of break statement now in this example what you are doing is you have declared three variable they are n i and sum your i ka value is 1 and you are telling user to enter some positive integer now see while two mean, means what this is this will keep on rotating the inside the loop while my condition is true but what will happen here if my i ka value is greater, becoming greater than n then you have to break the loop so it means what your i is initially a 1 and the n ka value i have entered that is what 5 so initially your i is 1 so 1 is greater than 5 no 1 is not greater than 5 so what you will do you will calculate the sum is equal to sum plus i now see here i have made a use of what shorthand operator sum plus is equal to i so that is nothing but what sum is equal to sum plus i now your sum is 0 and your i is 1 so this is going to be what 0 plus 1 is equal to 1 now your i will get incremented by 1 and it will become 2 so one more time you will do the same thing 2 is greater than 5 if 2 is greater than 5 then you have to break the loop but 2 is not greater than 5 then again you will be doing the same thing that is what sum plus i that is 1 plus 2 is will be a 3 then your i will get incremented by 1 it will become 3 so 3 is greater than 5 no so again you have to do the same thing so this is going to be a 3 plus 3 is 6 now it will become 4 4 is greater than 5 no so again 6 plus 4 is going to be a 10 now your i ka value will be a 5 and 5 is greater than 5 no 5 is not greater than 5 so one more time you will be doing the same thing but once your i will become a 6 your 6 is greater than 5 yes 6 is greater than 5 then immediately break so immediately break means what will happen your control will come out of the loop and you will get an answer see how this sum is equal to whatever sum you have got that sum will get printed so this is how we execute i mean this is how we use of break statement i mean break statement means what when my condition will be a true your control will immediately get transferred to the out of the loop i mean whatever you have written after the break statement that won't get executed and your control won't go inside the loop again so it will come directly outside the loop now see you are telling user to enter some positive integer and your ica value is what you have initialized it as what one now what if if user enters minus one or minus two then what will happen suppose if user enters minus two then what will happen it will go inside the loop and it will check i is one but whatever value you have entered that is minus value so i is one and you have entered what minus two so one is greater than 
minus 2 and immediately it will come out of the loop and you won't get any sum to be printed on the screen. So this is how we make a use of you know break statement. In the break statement basically what we do we break the in indefinite or infinite loop that we break. Now the next statement is for the continue statement. In the continue statement what will happen? Whatever you have written after the continue statement that won't get executed and your control will get transferred to the beginning of the loop. Now say this is infinite loop. Infinite loop means what I haven't mentioned any condition here. So this will go inside the loop you know for the indefinite amount of time. I have taken one variable n and this is my infinite loop and you are telling user to enter some number. Now suppose if user enters 8. So my n k value is 8. Now what you will do here 8 is divisible by 4. You will check whether your year 8 is divisible by 4. So obviously you will get answer as what 0 and if you are getting answer as 0 then it will continue again to the beginning of the loop again it will allow you to enter some other number. So it means what whatever you have written after the continue statement that won't get execute, executed. Let us take one more example suppose if user enters 5. If user enters 5 then what will happen your 5 is not divisible by 4 so you will go inside the next statement I mean you will come here and you will check whether your 5 is divisible by 5 yes your 5 is divisible by 5 and then what you have written break so once your break statement will occur you will come directly out of the loop and you will get what completely outside but whenever continue statement occurs what happens basically whatever you have written after continue statement that doesn't get executed but again your control gets transferred to the beginning of the loop. So for the continue statement again it will allow you to enter one more value of n but when the break statement will get occur it will directly come outside the loop I mean, it won't allow you to enter one more value of n. So that's it. that is the use of what break and continue statement. So I hope you have understood the both the examples of what break and continue statement. Thanks for watching this video. In the next video, we will see our next topic that is function.